What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I achieved this half up half down crochet on my little sister. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, so starting off, I'm starting off with clean hair and her hair is also blow dried and I'm just going to part her hair from ear to ear and then section off that top section with a hair tie. And I will have um, the blow dry routine that I use on my hair and on hers up in the cards. And now I'm just going to start braiding. Um, this back section of her hair is basically just going to be, I think it's called a beehive formation. Um, so I'm just parting um, a section right below um, that part that goes from ear to ear. And I'm basically just going to start braiding all around in a circle until I get to the very end and I just have one braid. Okay, so you don't have to be a perfect braider to do any type of crochet, in my opinion. Um, as long as your braids like won't come loose, you're going to be fine. Because if your braids are too loose, then the hair can easily come out. Um, but So you just want to make sure that they are like secure, but they don't have to be tight. Um, I don't braid tight at all. For one, because it's my sister and she'll complain. <laughs> and two, because this is a protective style and you're not protecting anything if you're braiding tight. So as you can see, my braids are very, very loose, but not too loose that the style does not last. What's going on? So I just continued to braid and this is how it looked the very end. As you can see, my braids are not perfect. And I'm just going to use my crochet hook to bring that extra braid just through um, her braids um, so that it won't be just flopping around. So I'm just kind of weaving it through um, until the end is tucked into the braids. And this is the hair that I'm going to be using. It's kids crochet hair from, I guess, Afri. I'll have the like link if I can find it down below. But I got it from my local beauty supply store. And it was $6 a pack. Um, and I'm using the color 2 because that's what color my sister is. So um, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just crocheting the hair in. This first one, I only looped it once because I wasn't really thinking, but all the other ones, I looped them twice or even three times just to make sure that it's secure because um, you don't want the hair to come out. So you definitely want to loop it more than once, especially since this is really like soft hair, um, surprisingly. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you're looping it more than once so that it doesn't come out so I just continued to do that I started at the bottom and worked my way up once I got to about halfway through her hair I just started focusing on like one braid at a time instead of going um, across horizontally I just started going like around one braid to make sure I wasn't missing any spots um, and at the very end of this clip I think that'll be when I had about one pack of hair used um, and in total for her back section, I used four packs of hair. Um, I wanted to make sure that her hair um, was like undetectable so you couldn't see any braids or anything like that. So I did use four packs and it did look pretty good. It didn't look like overly full or anything like that. So I'm just going to continue to play this clip and I'll just have some music playing. So I'm just going to speed through the rest of this clips of me putting the hair into these braids. I want my dreams to rescue me. I keep my faith strong. I ask the Lord to follow me. I get unfaithful. I don't know why you call on me. All 
Alrighty, and so for her top braid, um, this is the only time I did something a little bit differently. So for the top, I basically did, I don't know what they're technically called, but I just looped it around one strand of hair instead of both strands of hair. Um, and again, that first one, I only looped it once because I wasn't thinking. But the rest of them, I looped them twice or three times. And this just makes it so it's undetectable at the top. So if someone were to look at her hair from the top, they wouldn't be able to see like the knot for real. It would look more natural. So that's just what I'm doing on the top. <laughs> Alrighty, and this is how her hair looked when I was all done with the crocheting at the back. Again, I used four full packs. I used one extra strand from the fifth pack. Um, but yeah, pretty much just four packs, and that's how it looked. Now I'm just using some shine and jam on this top section. And I am just going to put that all around the back of her hair, the sides, and the front. Um, just so I can get a sleek ponytail. I do use the regular hold for the shine and jam. I don't like to use extra hold on my sister just because I feel like it's better for their hair. So yeah, and I'm just going to use this brush to brush it all the way up. And I'm going to brush her edges kind of out so that I'm not pulling on them. And once I do that, I'm just going to put it into a ponytail. Um, the best that I can in the middle of her hair and I just checked with her to make sure I wasn't tight because again This is a protective style make sure that your stuff is not tight no matter who you're doing it on yourself or anybody else um, Always make sure that what you're doing is not tight just secure So uh, again, I'm just going to put that in a ponytail and then with that ponytail I'm just going to do a single braid and then put that braid into like a little mini bun and then from there I'm going to start adding some more crochet here Alright, so now I'm going to start adding some more crochet hair. So all I'm doing now is basically just doing exactly what I did at the bottom of her hair. But I'm just crocheting around the base of that little mini bun that I did. And when I was doing her hair, I wasn't sure if I was going to do like a bun or a ponytail. So initially this is all I was going to do was crochet around the base. But then I decided I wanted to put it in like a cute little um, ponytail. So... I ended up going back in but basically I'm just doing as you can see here and just crocheting um, and then I checked to see how a bun would look and I was like no ma'am I'm not really liking it so then I started going in and adding more hair just to the actual bun itself and um, this was just to make it more full So I'm not really sure how much hair I use for the ponytail. I want to say I used pretty much like a full pack, I want to say, on her um, ponytail. So once I got a little bit further, I used a strand from the back and I just wrapped it around the base to hide um, the different knots from the crochet. Um, from the crochet knots I should say and I'm just using some pins to secure it in place um, so yeah I just secured that all the way around and then I'm going in with some more pins and I'm just securing some of her hair directly onto the bun so that when she whips her hair because she knows she's gonna do that 
um you won't be able to see any of the bun so i'm basically just trying to do this so that she can kind of wear her hair however and you won't be able to tell that it's you know crocheted and all that stuff so i basically just kept looking back and seeing where i should add in more hair to make it look more full and whatnot and my sister is a hot mess so let's see so yeah here i am just adding in some more hair and honestly um when you put knots onto the actual bun you can't even tell um it just looks like it's curly it doesn't look like a bun or anything so you don't even have to hide the knots when you're adding them to the actual bun or at least for the hair that i use you didn't have to do that um, but i did use like going back between like a regular knot and then um like a single knot so that's pretty much all I did and now I'm just kind of swooping her edges up into her bun. I was too lazy to go and get my actual edges brush so I just used my regular brush. Um, and that was pretty much the end of this style. Um, it looked really cute in like a little side um, ponytail but since I did kind of secure everything she can wear this hair however she can wear it the ponytail to the side either side back she can wear in the bun however and so that is the end of this tutorial if you enjoyed it or definitely want to try it please give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel i am trying to upload once a week so that is it and i will see you all in my next video bye guys